I'm not addicted. I'm not addicted. Welcome, not addicted. newcomers. I'm not addicted. You're here because I'm not addicted. You're addicted. I'm not addicted. Don't deny it. I'm not addicted. You're addicted. I'm not addicted. Yes, you are. I'm not addicted. Sweet, let's get creative. I hope you get on your creative headbands. <laughs> I was gonna say creative hats, but I have a headband, so creative headband. Let's get started. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you how to make your own clutch with your own kind of twist to it. Do it like you like. So you can go to your nearest um, Hobby Lobby store or Michaels and purchase just this like a plain clutch and I like the print in the inside ooh that's pretty it's kind of my inspiration for what I'm going to do on the outside so yeah you have a clutch right here and it's going to be that more awesome because you are making it on your own so this one was a uh, clutch purse three ninety nine. So good deal. Okay. Then when you're in the store, you're gonna pick out some items that you may you may want to include on your purse. And I just picked out some of those. They're kind of cute. That. and some things now these items I already had in my creative um corner so yeah so then after you gather your items what you're going to put on your purse you can start creating yeah so um, and also, if you want to write on your purse, write something like fashion or just write something awesome or draw something awesome, you can get these fabric mate um, permanent drawing markers. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to use these for something else on another do-it-yourself. Um, so, I'm just showing you. Okay, so let's do it ourselves. So, stay tuned if you want to know how to make your own unique clutch. And I'm just going to give you some examples. Of course, when you buy things, you're going to buy it like you want. So, just ideas, honeys. Okay. So, stay. Okay. So, then you're going to take the like pieces and put them with the like pieces so over here i got all the ones that look like this and that and these and it's only two of each that came in these patterns so you get the picture so yeah and these i know they look the same but they're different this one actually has a white sorry a white background and this one actually has a yellow you see? I know it may be hard to see on the camera. Maybe if I get a little bit closer. 
It has a yellow undertone. This has a white undertone. So, you got them in order. And next you're going to see how you want to do your purse. And so far, I hope you can see this. I'm thinking of taking this ribbon and putting it right here. Right here. Okay. Hold on for a minute. Let me explain something real quick. Um, I feel like anybody can be creative. You just have to allow yourself to go to that creative spot and just do whatever. But I also believe that some people are just naturally creative. And I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anybody else, but I feel like I'm naturally creative. And I like to say the art eye, you have the art eye. I mean, some somebody might need to measure this to get it exactly straight. But I can tell just by looking at it. And I do something with my eyes. It's weird. But anyway, yeah. And I mean, you might can do it too, but I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, let's get back to this. So I was thinking about putting this right here. And these little thingies right here, I want this to hit in the middle. Okay. This came on these little ring thingies, but uh, they're meant to be taken off like that, and maybe put on a necklace, but I'm not doing that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this part right here, this end, and it glue it to where I want to position it on my purse. Yeah, so I'm going to do that with that. And... Let me hold this like this. I'm planning on... Wait a minute, let me turn it around for you. I'm planning on taking some of these and putting them like that. And I want it to be... Oh shoot guys, I just tore some of that stuff off. But anyway, I'll just give you an example. So it's going to be... Ugh. Okay, I hope you saw what I was trying to do. It's going to be like that, and it's going to have, like, some layer of that, um, this right here. It's going to have some layer of this little black chain like thing. And I'm just going to open the purse like this, and I'm going to go closer in there to hang it like that. Alright, and then go there, and then go wide. So it's going to be hanging. Yeah. So I'm going to do the... Hmm. chain pieces and then I'm gonna put these up there and then I'll come back and show you all right stay tuned guys. so I got one of the black chains on and one of the um these due right here and it didn't work out like I planned it but I'll show you what I did to make it work that's one thing about art um, and creativity. If something doesn't go as planned, back up plan, and it's simple, you know? If you have that creative mind, you could think of something. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you how it turns out so far. You see that? And if you see a little bit of blue, that is the fabric glue so it's like that okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take this stringy well this ribbon and I'm taking the camera down I'm going to go across here like that and I'm gonna leave a little bit of extra on the side when I cut it because instead of just cu cutting it and having it like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it and glue it in there, bend it in this way. Okay, so I decided to just show you so there won't be any confusion. I know you're not slow. 
but I'm doing a do it yourself tutorial thing so I want to show you every bit okay so you see I put my glue my fabric glue like this I'm just gonna hold it up like this and open this well actually no I'm not I'm going to place it where I want it and I want it right there and before you go pressing anything in make sure it's straight it's nothing that I hate more than a line or something not straight like if there's a picture in my house that's not line right oh that aggravates the crap out of me so I immediately fix it I don't care how tired I am I get up and fix it I'm very crazy about those things. Okay, so I'm going to open it right there and I'm just going to tuck it in there. And tuck that side in there. And press, give it a little pressure. And then close. And so, so far we have this. Okay, so, um, I put my little stud thingies, I don't even know what to call them, spikes, up there, and I put my chain in the top, so, right now, this is what we have. And don't forget, I told you that, um, can you see that? Don't forget, I told you, if you see any blue, it's just... Um, the glue drying goes on blue dries clear so um I'm gonna let this dry and I'm going to bed <laughs> because I'm tired so um but this is the last thing I'm gonna do I wasn't gonna put this on I was gonna use it for something else but I figured it would tie it in so good so this is gonna be like my khaki military clutch mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do is put that right there in the middle and it's very very pretty and it's a little worn too on the sides can you see that right there and I love that hi it's another day okay so um actually I didn't make it the next night Actually, this is like two days later, <laughs> but um, I had a lot of work to do, so I couldn't. But um, I did what I told you I was going to do. I put the um, little military rank thing on, and uh, I'll just show you. Okay. So, this is what it looks like so far. Okay, so I added the thingies right there. Excuse my nails, honey. Okay, so I put the thingies on. Um, Right there, I had to put those two circles above the um, bow, and what it did was to cover up that circle. I put these little um, bead things on top of it, glued it on top of it, and I put one under there. So yeah, this is what it looks like so far. Okay guys, I'm finished. Okay, so this is the final product. And I'll post it on my blog so you can see some better photos of it. So yeah, this is my military inspired clutch. So bye guys, I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to do yours and let me see. Promise?